<laughs> so, just like Kiryu, uh, there are milestones for each step of the way for uh, Majima's uh, business side story. Mm. So, the idea with the Cabaret Club is uh, to advance in the story, you need to get to earn more fans in each area of the district. Right. Uh, and just like with Kiryu, you, you can partner with local businesses to uh, to get more fans, which, you know, it does make things go faster. But I opted not to do that for the LP, not that it really matters because that's all off camera anyway. <laughs> because I really actually needed to slow down to so I could get more, uh, record more of the, like, you know, the, the stuff with the hostesses. Right, right. Of which I still need to record like maybe one or two more girls. That that's how fast Cabaret Club goes compared to the uh, trainings, which is annoying, but whatever. So once we hit 500 fans over in the Club Mars area, we can go check out the Club Mars area for ourselves and you know scope out the competition. Right. Flashy is not the word I would have used, Yoda, but I guess it's, uh... I guess it might be a step up from Club Sunshine. <laughs> Sorry to say. I can't believe you ate shit on the people that, you know, gave us an in. <laughs> Look, we're working our way up from the bottom. We, we need to actually get up the ladder before uh, we can yeah. start being proud yeah. of it. And we're lucky to even be here, thanks to Club Sunshine. Okay, fine. Uh. <sighs> you look cute. This guy's modeled off of a doll. <laughs> Kinda does. It, it's the rosy cheeks, I think. Yeah, mainly. The eh, eyebrows, too. <laughs> Doesn't help that I really don't like his suit. It's so bad. It's just like, it's the, the pink undershirt with the, like, tomatoes or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about the entire, like, it's a, like too much red-pink. He, he himself Boy. looks like a tomato. Maybe that's just the thing with Club Mars, just overwhelming red, like, never, I over there is decked out in it, too. I never thought that the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes would Boy. have a weird spin-off in Japan. <laughs> You know what this portion needs? Music. What does it need? Yeah, music would help. It's a little bit. You know, you're outside the club and you can't even hear inside the club. That's that's, uh, that's a bad club right there. If I remember to do it, I can try to edit in some of the cabaret music. No, don't. <laughs> we, uh, this, is how, this is how we know this place is bad. Oh... Focus, Yuda. Mm. Oh, eat his ass. Majima, don't let him shit on your girls. Foot. He's just lucky Yuki's not here. Eh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want the, you know, pass control, I don't think your waiter's gonna be the one to provide it. Uh -huh. I, you know, I was really hoping the girl wouldn't be that stupid. I can be a bit of an airhead sometimes, I think. Fair. Standard disclaimer applies again, don't look I up. <laughs> I, I was just gonna say, like, you probably shouldn't say it that way. You are not an airhead, sir. <laughs> 
I walked right into it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> You know, I, te I know technically it hasn't been a long time since the last episode and stuff, but it just, I don't know, since like watching Judgment more and more, it seems so much more obvious how little damage you do in like regular attacks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Combat in these games feels like it takes way longer just because of uh, how little damage Majima seems, or Majima or Kiryu seems to do. Yeah. Like, obviously, you know, the heat actions, like, make up for it and stuff, but, you know, you can always do also do that in Judgment, so... Right, right. Uh, I stayed quiet for mo for pretty much most of that battle because I really like the battle music that plays, uh... when you, um... when you're doing fights with Majima during the, uh... during, you know, for events like these. Right, right. It's... What's the song called? Uh, Interplanetary Spark. It's really, it's a really good energetic rock song. Mm. It's it's probably one of the best songs on the soundtrack. Anyway, uh, with each of the girls, uh, you get to do two mini games with her, maybe three, through the course of her training. So, with Yuki, we're gonna do some karaoke. So is there like an actual reason why there's a Kappa on the top right? I think he's just like the mascot for the karaoke uh, oh, okay. brand. Is there like oh, a, is there a reason why they'd use a Kappa for as like as a mascot for karaoke? I don't know. I wonder like what like if there's a secret subtext behind it or whatever. Hmm. Anyway, that was Yuki's song. Now it's our turn.
I've seen Kiryu model swapped onto this one. It's horrifying to look at. <laughs> Does he get like spaghetti arms or some shit? His eyes should not open the way Majima's do. Now I need to see this. <laughs> I would have imagined that his eye, his left eye would have closed in ways we wouldn't have believed. But <laughs> No, they both have the same like rig, I guess. <laughs> Just can't really tell with Majima. <laughs> This is like one of those things where, you know, it's like uh, in uh, Smash where it's like there's like a frame where the character's all messed up. And it's literally <laughs> just because like they never expected people to freeze frames. Yeah, it's totally that kind of thing. <laughs> all right. The next uh, milestone is a thousand fans. <laughs> Look, if there's anything I, I know about acquiring fans really quickly, it's just like Pander to your audi audience, uh, you know, go on like some porn website and just advertise with a girl's butt on it or something. But Jabo, the internet didn't, wasn't a thing yet. That's what you think. <laughs> well, Club Mars uh, uh -huh. patrons wouldn't be, you know, internet patrons because... Club Mars is the, uh, the poor person, but, uh, district, I guess. Wow. Very rude. That is straight up what the game kind of says. Like, you get a lot of, uh, poor people coming in through the door. The, uh, the game does tell you who, what kind of clientele you can expect with each district, but I, I find that it really doesn't matter who comes in, just as long as you can get adjust your strategy as... Yeah, as, right. as long as you can stretch the strategy as needed. Right. And swap girls around when uh, someone needs a hostess more suited to their tastes, you'll be fine. I like how somehow people exist like that in this world. <laughs> like they've right? gone bankrupt. Like, well, I mean. I feel so bad for some of the people that, that come through. Like, they're poor, but they also just kind of sat in and got immediately hit by fever time so, so suddenly they're just hemorrhaging all the money they've ever had and then some I'm so glad that's not a thing in the real world <laughs> you, if I ever run one of these clubs maybe don't visit as a patron wow I don't even get a deal fuck you <laughs> holy shit this is how you treat your co-commentators <laughs> no, no name in the credits I mean, <laughs> and I, I have to pay. <laughs> I don't get a discount. <laughs> Damn. No, I will. I will give you a discount. It's just <laughs> it sound like I you're don't. Me a discount. I don't think the discount's gonna help much if everything else, or it's still gonna bleed you dry anyway. <laughs> but Jabba, I always get the three time multiplier for Fever Time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I guess I came by to talk to us or something. But then these people who are upset about Club Mars just harassing her. So, it's all, this is all about like the, the five stars and whatever, and something about sailors, so like, there's Club Mars, so like, do we have to like, collect stuff to unlock the holy flaming cat or whatever that'll grant us three wishes? Uh, or, am I, or am I getting my animes confused? I, I think you've conflated a bunch of them. Damn. <sighs> Can't wait for the plot twist where it actually turns out that I is a robot. <laughs> She's one of the fembots from... 
<laughs> From uh, Austin Powers. There, there is a, a plotline like that-ish for uh, one of the later games. I can tell you that. Ooh. <laughs> or at least there's a hostess who is super robotic. Oh my god, she's shooting sexy gas out of her nipples or whatever, <laughs> whatever it was. <laughs> awesome virus. Oh right, she came by to deliver a message. That's what it was. <sighs> You know, I'd make some comment about how it's like, ah, oh, now we've got our first prisoner because you can just like easily just grab her. But then, you know, women, cabaret club, <laughs> implications of prisoner. We've already imprisoned a woman in this storyline. <laughs> Probably should leave that out, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. This is, like, this is like, let's not go there territory. Majima's running a very wholesome business here. <laughs> That's okay, bullshit. Wait. Hang on. The business itself, maybe not. My not be so wholesome, but his business practices are wholesome. I don't believe that for a second. We are making people go bankrupt. Yeah, because we're providing such good service. Oh, shit. Look, how else do you explain the meteoric rise of Club Sunshine? Well, much like the actual sun, there is a dawn, a sunrise, and eventually a sunset. <laughs> she says with a massive scowl on her face. I hate Majima! Majima is like the perfect boss. I don't see why you'd ever like not like him. Yeah, just a little friendly banter. They they have a lot of uh vitriol between each other sometimes. <laughs> But you could still tell that, like, they would, uh, they, they got each other's backs through thick and thin. I'm glad you went in that direction. <laughs> like I said, Majima runs his business in a very wholesome way. Uh, great. Sailor Mars is going to declare her, like, Aww. disgust for us and then try to attack us or something. Crap like that. No, no, she's just jealous that, uh, they have such a tight report. Yeah, I don't know, leave the temple or whatever it was that you kept doing in the anime. <laughs> Come join the bad guys? Wait, what? <laughs> ah. <sighs> Can I just, like, cut my commentary here? Yeah, sure. Oh man, this girl's so cute, and I know she's actually a porn star in real life, but <laughs> I I wish she was my daughter. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, most people are like, oh, she's so cute. I wish she was my girlfriend or something. Not, you know. Maybe Yoda's just admitting that he's a little too old to be with her like that. Sure. You know what? We'll go that direction. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow I prefer the honesty at least. 